Today we are in Auckland, New Zealand and we are going to show you what 100 New Zealand dollars bought us. 100 New Zealand dollars exchanges to about 92 Australian dollars or 60 US dollars. New Zealand is a somewhat expensive place and we are in the city today so prices may be a little elevated. Nonetheless, this is how we spent $100 in New Zealand. Starting off with a bang, we are heading out for breakfast at one of the best rated cafes in the whole of Auckland. This cafe is called Chuffed and it's located just off Queen Street in the Central Business District. We got ourselves a coffee and an Eggs Benny. That's a well done coffee. Your hot chocolate's like double the size of my coffee. <laughs> 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 this cost us a total of $30. Now there are way more menu options so you can get it cheaper here. However, I'd highly recommend the Eggs Benedict. It was delightful. Oh, and the coffee was pretty damn good too. The stuff was pretty good. Um, Eggs Benny was decent. Um, they had like a potato roti which was actually pumpkin potato roti. Something different. How was your bacon? Good. <laughs> good bacon. <laughs> Moving on, we adventure around the city for a while and we ended up heading into the grocery store. Now, just like Australia, New Zealand has a Woolworths here as well. So we headed in and bought a few snacks. Costing us $3, we came out with a few snacks for the road. So I found these things at Woolies, Woolworths, which they do have in New Zealand, surprisingly. They don't, they don't have coals, but these are really good. These are like crowns at Woolies in Australia. But I've already tried these, very good. And of course you gotta get Whitaker's chocolate, which is New Zealand, right? New Zealand owned? Pretty sure, yeah, crafted in New Zealand, there you go. These are very good as well. So. Next we headed to yeah. the Sky Tower so we could experience Auckland from above. The Sky Tower is a pretty incredible building, standing 70 floors high. This experience was on the costy side and it cost us $38 each. However, I do think the experience is worth doing as you get to see all of Auckland from a sky view. And there's also some glass floors. Not only do you get some of the most amazing views, you can also learn a lot about the history of the city and the buildings in the area. There's loads of information signs around the viewing floors. If you want to go one step higher or further, you can actually fly jump from the top of this tower down to the street below. This is an additional $330 however. An experience you probably can't do in many cities though, so it's probably worth the money to be fair. Real quick, if you're enjoying this video, please do leave a like, it helps us get this video to more people. Leaving the Sky Tower, we are keen for some energy. We headed to the local convenience store and picked up some energy drinks. A New Zealand company is actually the founder of V Energy, so they are quite cheap here and have some unique flavours. The Black V is only located in New Zealand and it has a very unique taste. Verdict on the Black V tastes exactly like original Rockstars, the original one. No, it tastes like cough syrup. It tastes good. Continuing walking through the city streets, we stumbled across Dunkin' Donuts, a popular American chain that's made its home here in New Zealand. Being as though we don't have these donuts back home in Australia, we had to get a packet. Donut review. <laughs> What are they called? Something cream, Bul Bavarian cream. Yeah. Bavarian cream. I only got the minis because um, we didn't want to buy lots. No, it's just strawberry jam. <laughs> I don't know. Either way, they're all they're all pretty good. Of course, American Dunkin' Donuts. Of, of course they're good. Finally, we are at the end of our day. We did a massive all you can eat dinner at the rib crib. You can check that video out below. However, that would blow this budget straight out the water. So to spend our last $16, we headed to Gapo, Auckland's highest rated ice cream shop. Gapo is located near the port in the back streets. 
we got a signature ice cream flavor on top of a brookie pie. The brookie pie is pretty much a brownie mixed with a biscuit. This ice cream place is probably one of the best I've been to and I'd highly recommend it also. Yeah, it's meringue. I'm glad we got that pie. <laughs> or the brownie or whatever it is. Cause that, that's really good brownie. It's a cookie. All right, Gapo down here in downtown Auckland City, CBD, um, is the goods. I'd like to try more of what they have there, but yeah, that ice cream is gone. What do you think of the Gapo ice cream? Or Gapo? <laughs> so that's how we spent $100 in New Zealand. Again, you could certainly get away with way more for your money if you choose to go to cheaper places. However, the experience at these highly rated places was really good and I'd recommend them to you guys as well. If you're new to this channel, do subscribe as this is only the beginning of our journey and we will be traveling to many, many different countries over the next few years. Leave a like if you like this video and subscribe if you're new. Cheers, legends.